So now we have GitHub set up and we have cloned the test two repository onto our computer. Now let's make some changes on GitHub, pull those into our computer, and then we'll make some changes on our computer and push those up to GitHub. So first let's go here. Here's our repository. We're going to make a change. Edit a change on GitHub. I'm going to get my rascal down. Gonna commit that. There we go. Let's go back here. So now if we look at the history here, we look at README, we can see it's still, you know, just this. Well, we've got a change up on GitHub, but we don't have that on our local computer. So let's go ahead and click fetch. What this is doing is it's saying, hey, GitHub, anything, any changes up there? And indeed, there is a change. So let's go ahead and pull that onto our computer. Here we go. And now you see the history has updated. We can click there and we can see now we have a change on GitHub. So now we need, um, now next what we want to do is we want to make a change on our computer and push that up to GitHub. So in order to do that, we are going to need to open up this file here. So let's um, reveal it in the finder. Here we go. And then it's the readme here. And I want to open with something. I could open so this is what I normally program in, but I want to show you we can, it's just a flat file. We can open it with kind of anything. I am going to open it with a text editor. There we go. So you can see it's just this. And now I'm going to say a change on my local computer. go back over to GitHub Desktop, and aha, in the Change tab, it says there is one change. What is that? I can click on here, and I can see the change is that I have added this line here. So now we need to commit that. And the way we do that is, first off, we're going to check the file we want to associate this commit with. In this case, it's simple. I just have one. but. Imagine you had like 10 different files you um, made changes to. You may or may not want to have the same message for all those changes. So you can select which ones. So anyhow, I click that for README. I'm going to associate it with the change here. And just um, say, uh, added a uh, short line. Okay. Then I click Commit. And now when I look at the history, you can see it's here. Look at that arrow. That arrow is telling me that I have not pushed that up to GitHub yet. I can click here and push it. There we go. Go back to GitHub and I refresh this and now it's here. So that is pulling and pushing in a nutshell.